Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you a few tips and ways that you can create icons in Figma. We're going to use the pen tool and simple shapes to create food icons. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've just opened up a Figma project and I have an artboard here set up with areas where we can begin creating some food icons. We're going to begin with creating a simple burger icon. What we can start doing is going to the top menu and grabbing the ellipse tool. You can also press the keyboard shortcut O and we're going to draw that shape in. And all what we want to do is cut this circle in half for the uh, top uh, bun. So we can grab the rectangle tool. You can also use the command shortcut R instead of uh, going to the menu. And we're going to draw a rectangle across the uh, upper portion of the circle. Now with both objects selected, we can go to the top menu here and browse through some of the Boolean effects. That includes things like merging two vectors together or even subtracting them. For this, we're going to use subtraction. What that'll do is cut the uh, portion that of the rectangle that's covering the uh, uh, ellipse, it'll cut that portion out so we have uh, the top bun left. And with that bun still selected, what we can do is go back into that menu and click on flatten selection. And what I'll, that'll do is remove the kind of uh, masking that they have going on here so we can fully edit this uh, new icon that or vector that we've created. We can also uh, uh, duplicate this top bun and make it into a uh, bottom bun by holding alt and dragging it down. We're also going to rotate the bottom bun by grabbing the handle and swinging that around. And then we're going to kind of just squeeze that bottom bun so that it's a bit smaller than the top bun. Next, by double clicking uh, the bottom bun, what we can do is uh, edit the anchor point so that we can add some roundness to the corners. So I'm going to grab these two anchor points and go to the right menu here and change the corner radius to about, we're we'll to change it to one. We can also do the same thing for the top bun by grabbing uh, those similar anchor points and setting the uh, the anchor or the uh, corner radius there to those points to uh, one pixel. And what that'll do is make this the ends a little bit less harsh and more natural to the feel of uh, an actual burger bun. Now that we've got the buns pretty much in place, uh, we can start adding the meat in between. And for that, we're going to grab the rectangle tool again, and I'm just going to try to match the width with uh, these two buns and place it right in the center. We're going to add some roundness to uh, the meat in between, but first, what I want to do is illustrate uh, the cheese on uh, the meat. And to do that, I'm going to grab the pen tool, and you can use the keyboard shortcut P to access that. And what we're going to do is draw out three points with the pen tool. What that will allow us to do is illustrate that there's a layer or slice of cheese on top of the meat. And once you're finished with the triangle there, what you can do is grab the paint bucket tool and fill that layer or that shape in with white to kind of create some negative space which gives the idea a uh, kind of illustration for cheese. Next, what we're going to do is grab the four corners of the meat and just round off those anchor points the same as we did with the two buns. And just like that, we've just finished a simple burger icon using just a few simple shapes as well as uh, manipulating uh, now I'm going to kind of speed through a few more icons to kind of show you a few more examples for how you can use simple shapes uh, to create these uh, simple icons in Figma.
And so there you have it. I've created all of these icons using uh, some of the shapes uh, as well as some of the features and tools in Figma. Uh, so I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you've definitely learned a little bit more about how you can make icons on your own uh, app or web projects. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And if you would like more videos like this or want to learn a little bit more about how to make uh, these kind of icons or a little bit more complex icons, definitely comment down below and I will see you guys on the next one.